it sounds like you've had to really learn about uh, you really had to learn your not, not only just your body but just like bodybuilding in general from a physiological perspective i mean like what sort of like you know extra homework outside the gym have you done to to prepare for this comp you know competing like this Right. So methods of training has been huge because um, you're not just building muscle, you're building a shape. Mm -hmm. So my training for my body would look different for someone in another division. So um, my husband, he's he was a trainer for like 10 years, even before we got married. So he brought that knowledge and he was a big fan of the sport. He still is. So he brought that knowledge to me. So teach me how to train, you know, different tempos, time under tension, you know, how to carry the heavy weight. Um, that's been, I would say, been like huge for me is this really learning how to train and pushing towards the comfort zone. Um, it's like a whole nother level. It's like a whole nother, like, <laughs> you have to be like a beast at some point. You got to have like a beast mentality, right? My, my husband right. says, my, my wife's a dog in the gym because literally I sound like a dog when I'm in a gym because <laughs> <'cause> it's so <laughs> tough, but you, it's the method of training. And yeah. It's really learning how to just really get uncomfortable has been the biggest thing for me. Oh, for sure. I think that's almost like anything you want to do in life. If you want to be successful, yeah. it's, it's kind of funny hearing you, um, hearing you talk about like sound like a dog in the gym. It's like, <laughs> well, no, but, um, no, but like, I, I think that's, you, you're, you're pushing yourself to a point where, you know, it's, it's really obvious. It's, um, it reminds me of, I want to, I want to ask you about planet fitness is get your take on that, but also, um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But like I remember, like back at school, for example, we would help out with I might have been like an hour's detail, for example. But like I remember helping either helping out with some detail related to the women's tennis team, and I've never been around like tennis at all. And so to hear them like grunt when they hit the ball, where it's like it's you know you, when you don't hear it, you're not used to it. You you don't know how to take it because you're just like you know you know dumb immature you know cadet you know you don't, you don't think any better you know any wiser. But that's part of like the process of actually being a really aggressive tennis player is, is just being able to exert yourself to the point where you you make those sounds you know as silly as it sounds but um that's just the nature of it uh and, and then so, so to kind of dovetail what, what i just said just before this planet fitness like what's not to like you know get you to, to dunk on them necessarily but i just feel like the way their their business model is designed like the the lunk alarms are, are you familiar with the lunk alarms of planet fitness yeah, yeah. My, my husband's gotten that before so it's I, the business model in my opinion is to attract people or certain type of people that, you know, that aren't, yep. you know, aren't, that, that may get intimidated. Mm -hmm. um, you're just a normal person is trying to get in shape, right? It's trying to get healthy, but I don't feel like that their model is to push them to the next level. It's, I feel like it's to, to keep them in the same cycle that are in. Like, why would right. you have pizzas and yes, yes. Rolls, things of that nature at the gym? Like, it doesn't make sense. So I actually don't feel comfortable when I'm in Planet Fitness just because, I grunt, right? But I, I can't technically <laughs> grunt. And it's like, I can't push myself. If I'm not making a sound, then I'm really probably not outside of a comfort zone. And I'm probably not going that hard. So that means it's not being um, that idea of pushing yourself. <laughs> right. Next well, yeah, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm not a, a fan of Planet Fitness. It is my my last resort when I'm traveling and I can't find another gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's just, you know, it's really weird though. I, I think they do it for specifically for the purposes of, I guess the, um, you know, like you, you brought this up, like the intimidation factor that's related with bodybuilding. Cause you can see like this big guy who's grunting and he's dropping weights like the, and then the, the lunk alarms go off or what have you. Like I remember someone actually making a video kind of making fun of all this stuff. They put Ronnie Coleman in there. Um, <laughs> he was like dropping weights and all of a sudden the lunk alarm goes off. Like he's, I, I don't think he'll ever be caught dead in the planet fitness. Right. Um, um, but but just to see that and just to hear, um, just to, to I mean, because my wife and I, we tried it one time when we were at um, Fort Bliss in El Paso, um, and we just tried it out for about a month or so, just like the, the standard, like, you know, free trial month, whatever. And I, I was very much turned off by the, you know, they gave me out the, 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 the Tootsie Rolls, for example, the pizza, you know, Tuesdays or whatever, whenever they have pizza. I don't know. It's been, so, it's, it's been a long time, but um I just, it, it's, it's just weird to me. It seems counterintuitive, but I can definitely see someone saying this is, you know, you want to reward those people who are actually showing up in some way, shape or form, even if it is something like that. But I don't know. I mean, um, I just think that it's not mentally preparing them for, for what they, they should be, I guess, approaching fitness, generally speaking. Well, they, they market it to their audience, which is yes. bodybuilders are not the audience for Planet Fitness, which exactly. is why, you know, not to put it down because my mom has a Planet Fitness. I'm like, you need to get up and go, go to your Planet yes. Fitness. Yes. Cardio, like she feels comfortable, but my mom also is around us, so she can go to the real gym and 
like actually lift weights and <laughs> and she doesn't care that I'm screaming. Like she's like, yeah. get it, you know, don't do it, you got it. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's, it's, yeah, so they have a, a certain audience, which is fine. That's how that's how they market. And just like a powerhouse, you know, they market towards bodybuilders and power lifters. So it's just a different model. It's just one that doesn't fit my lifestyle. So yeah. Exactly, exactly. I, I almost feel like I don't know, like because it, it's almost like they they they're kind of they're they're fulfilling a, a stereotype of people who are you know kind of on the bigger side, like that strong side. That they're, they're almost like a, a bully in, in a way. I mean, I, I think it's the other part of it is that they want to defeat the bully mentality, the the, the, the bully persona related to that. I don't know. You, Julie, you seem really nice and wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure if if other people saw you in there, they'd be they would feel like you know less intimidated by that. It's just like I don't know. It just I I, I just think that it's kind of silly, but um, that's just my opinion. Um, so, so um, you know, again with you know with with like the, the the you know with we're talking about the gym, talking about getting the gym. Um, it's almost like the one of the reasons why they do that is they want to prevent people from fat shaming. I actually had a conversation with you know my mom about this is i've been trying to get you know encouraging her to to work out more um but basically um the the whole idea like when, when you see someone like that who's in the gym who's out of shape right um it, it's like there's no reason to, to fat shame I, I just don't think fat shaming like that is, is really good there's that I'm not, I'm not sure if you remember that controversial scenario like there was um some playboy model about like I want to say a decade ago, who who filmed some woman in the gym who was like overweight, and she got like her membership was like cut, and she was like shamed for, for like it was it was really bad. I can't remember who it was. I have to look this up afterwards because um, it's not not as bugging the hell out of me. But anyways, she shamed him so horrifically. And it's just like that's you're, you're you're doing such a disservice to that person because it takes a lot just to go from point A to point B um, in that instance. And just again like to what we were just talking about getting out of your, your your comfort zone to do something you know really good for yourself i just feel like that's just completely counterintuitive and that's a huge reason why you know fashion it's a lot of us like that are really into fitness right really fit that my i mean my passion is not just my own bodybuilding like i've trained many of people trying to pass a pft or just trying to you right. know lose some pounds like my mom is one of my clients right so and when I'm in the gym, I'm always looking for ways that I can help people. Like if I see someone doing something with the wrong form, it just, it makes me cringe. So I'm going to go over there and like, <laughs> hey, can I help you? Because I don't want you to hurt yourself. You're going to yeah. hurt yourself, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I try to motivate people.